a one, a two. A one, two, three, four. Water cooler. Bum, 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 bum. Water cooler. Water cooler. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, welcome to Water Cooler. Thank you so much for tuning in. You know how the show goes. I, Chris Socks, I'm on a kick it with my Corolla Digital Bud and Matt and Gary. With me in studio today, I got Mike Dawson. Kicking it. Oh, we are kicking it hard. And then all the way in Austin, TX, Matt Fondelier. Hey, brother. Hey, Matt. And then all the way in DTLA. Ditla. All right, is that okay if I dox you there, Gary? It's over. All right, Gary Smith. What's up, what's up? <laughs> all right, so Gary is on a time crunch because he's a busy dude. And we want to thank you for uh, donating your time here today and, and fitting us into your very busy schedule. Absolutely. Uh, Thanks yeah. for having me, He's guys. He's a wonderful Zoom background. So anyway, Matt is is fresh off a tech support call. He says that he was I'm, talking. I'm losing to, it. I was like, Matt, what's going on? He mm-hmm. uh, look, he, look at him. He looks, looks very disheveled. preoccupied. I, look, I'm done. I a little bit anxious. I'm fucking closing this fucking window. I can't deal with them anymore. It looks mad. That's evil, yeah. Matt, right there. That, Window that's, is can't yeah. closed. Okay, so you can see my hair. I've been literally been pulling my hair. That's right. that I thought is you're the, going what this experience has been like. I thought you were going for a new style, like Wolf the Dentist no. Stanson. Yeah, but yeah. anyway, so Matt, I asked him before the show, what's going on, man? He's, he's he, was, he was out of it. He's like, I'm, I'm not focused, Chris. He told me, he pulled me, he's like, I'm not focused. The claw. And so I said, what's up, Matt? It's like, where's your focus? And he goes, I'm talking to literally the worst people in the world right now. Mm-hmm. Google tech support. Mm-hmm. Which, one could argue, there are worse people in the world. Chris, I write about well, serial killers all day long. Your pull there are not worse people. <laughs> yeah. I believe it. Oh, that's right. Matt would know the worst people that I'm thinking of. I believe right? it. The show I work for, Sword and Scale, the worst monsters yeah. are real, dot, 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 and they work for Google tech support. Well, here's the thing. Ted Bunny, John you know, Wayne yeah. Gacy's, and then you got your Google tech yeah. support. I've got fucking David, Pol whoever Pot. he is. <laughs> Matt yeah. would know David because, Koresh. yeah, Matt literally studies David Koresh, who I probably. would have thought would have been the worst people in the world. I can't argue, I can't argue with Matt because yeah. he's studied both both sides now right. so listen yeah. this this is a perfect opportunity yeah. for gary to jump in here because i know that he's got to go but tech talk what what am i supposed to do when my like i've got the google fiber everybody's talking about it and i got the the jack box which is a hilarious name mm-hmm. but you can, i like, think you have that speed. in your old bedroom mm-hmm. yeah jack corner. Can, like, that, that's what his old room was called jack <laughs> yeah the jack yeah, corner right? shame the jack. So my jack box is working fine but my computer and all these other things they're not able to reach the speed of the Jackbox, which makes my personal Jackbox very difficult to use. If you guys are catching my drift here, yeah, the, stream video. You know what I'm saying? The Jackbox is quicker. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. anyway, um, like I was telling you guys off air when when I explained to them that my internet works fine 90 percent of the time, but like once a month, it'll just be a terrible day all day long. And their follow-up questions are, is everything plugged in? Yeah. This is, is the your, worst part. Is your thing in the basement? There's a few like, things what, about this, What are Matt. we doing? Okay. First off. Tech talk. I want Tech Talk to say it. Sorry. I want Tech Talk's advice. What is a Jackbox? Is that your router? It's separate from the router. The router is plugged into the Jackbox. Well, like I, would, I would say that you got to figure out your first. My first question would be, do you have to use the Jackbox? And should you be using a mesh Wi-Fi system, which is clearly superior to probably anything you're using he's right why are you well, not I'm going using, mesh i'm using a, a mesh wi-fi that's what this is so oh, maybe i'm misunderstanding jack box is a mesh wi-fi i've never heard of that which concerns me hmm. yeah gary would have heard know. of the jack box he's he's Doesn't on the like cusp it, yeah he's on the cusp of I technology don't, i don't fucking know i think that helped matt i think matt is now in a worse space um well, you're welcome <laughs> Thanks, dude. That was that was that Joe was corner? A tech talk. <laughs> yeah. So here's the no thing, Matt. Corner. You made first off. It's weird. Matt was doing a chat. He didn't. He didn't call Google because he ha- he has to do the online chat. Oh, Gary has to go. Got to run, guys. See you, brother. Thanks for having me. Bye. Love you, Gary. Love I'm really fun. glad that we got his his input on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Too. I was like, what do you think it is? And then I he like too. clearly I didn't explain it right. And then he had to leave. <laughs> It's you, not his fault. you insulted him so much. He, I know. He's like, I'm. I am a leading tech voice in in this in this space. And you're. You want to talk about a Jackbox, Matt? I just. I feel bad. We only had him for seven minutes, and I, I fucking came in guns blazing. So Boom. I'm sorry, Gary, if you're listening to this. I love you. Thanks for trying to help. So here's the thing. You went. You went to the chat. You went to Who? chat. 
Okay, who but, signed off on naming this the Jack Box? Because yeah. that person really mm -hmm. needs to be fired. What does that have I to do with so. Google? Why did right. they do that? It's too close to Jack in the Box, and people yep. already have a computer with porn on it, and that is your Jack Box. Right? Yeah. This There's is, a lot going this on is a bad, bad brand. You have the boob tube, and you decision. have a Jack Box. It's fucking stupid. Yeah. <laughs> boob tube. I forgot about that. Yeah. Good call. Yeah. So here's the thing, Matt. So you're you're chatting with what's most likely a bot, right? The first thing's like, hey, Matt, thank you so much for joining us. What is the issue today? And sometimes they'll just let you click what the issue is because they get so many common answers. And you, or or you could or it's very uh, AI chat GPT -E, where you can just type in your response and they can kind of gauge what your issue is. But it's just like internet. Okay, what's wrong with your internet? Internet down. Oh, but the I'm um, sorry to hear about that. They always apologize first while they're mm -hmm. trying to figure it out. Oh, we're so sorry to hear that internet down. Um, we well let's <laughs> let's because that's what they do. They mirror your response to show you. It's like active listening, right? They they show you that they're here for you. We're going to be supportive. Let alone you either are talking to a bot or like a 13 year old yeah. kid in India who is getting paid cents to the hour. So now you tell them the issue, and what do they do? The first thing they always tell you. You, you you try to restart. You try turning it on. Either you see the on button. Yeah. Just press it on. And then when you tell them, yes, that's the first thing you always do. It's the first thing I always do because that's always the first thing you say. So I'm not going to call you and do that. So I've already done that. What's the next step? And when, then when they're adamant, well, let's just try it again. Yeah. So that that's exactly right. Yeah. Also, when when I'm so what I do. When I'm in these th in these situations, because yeah, I'll talk to tech support too. Look, everyone thinks that I'm a genius, and I, I just I know tech that I well. That. I can figure out any problem. Yeah, I understand that. I basically am tech support for most people. So right. yeah, Chris doesn't have these issues. No, we do. We by being the elite. Mm -hmm. So I uh, I will start off my conversation going. Internet down. I already tried to restart the modem. I tried and I just type it all out. So do yep. not even do not even do that. I'm like Eminem and Eight Mile. Where I, I put it all out there before you could even touch it, and then you yep. got nothing to rap battle me about. Here mm. here's the worst part about that though. They don't listen when you do that. Like I I had the exact same experience because like I said, it's Google Fiber. So I was talking to the Google Fiber team, and then after a while, he's like, I can't help you anymore. You have to talk to the Google Home team. And like, okay. So when I started my conversation with the Google Home team, I did what over. you what you talked about, Chris. I'm like I just was referred to you by the Google Fiber team. We've been working on this. Here are the tests that they have me do. And their first six questions to me are, have you tried doing this? Who else have you contacted? It's All like, right. I, I'm trying to save us time here, man. Yeah. They'll, they have to go through procedures, too. Like, they're, You're they're right. trained they are in evil. such a way. Fucking yeah. Dahmer has nothing on these people. But it's true, too. The psychological torture that Matt's been going through... <laughs> It might be ir irreparable. Um, irreparable. So, irre irreparable. That's irreparable. right. Irreparable. Yeah. yeah. And so I sympathize with that. Thank you. Absolutely. Sympathies. At least so far, so far it seems Sympathies. to be doing okay. I literally couldn't download a podcast uh, earlier today. So the fact that we're having a, a real-time conversation. Does blow your mind? What's happened, but something is working. So good. Yeah, maybe they fix uh. it. So you should think they, they sound like the best people. Yeah, no, I have the same problem, like, Matt, with Spectrum. I send them a thank you. I have the yeah. same problem with Spectrum. Yeah. Um, there'll be one or two days a month where my internet is for shit. And it's like, what the fuck, dude? I pay for the fucking business internet, you motherfuckers. Exactly, man. Like, it literally affects my professional life. Like, I need yeah. to be able to do this. Like, yeah. recording shows and... Uh, Internet yeah, internet service providers may be one of the few like really heavy monopolies in society. Like there's only one game in town usually where you live and you can't right, right, do right. anything else about it. And they know you can't do anything right. else about it. So they'll jack up the prices. All they'll your make, utilities they'll make too. Tech support. They'll make customer service god awful because yeah, what, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? We're the only game in town. Like Yeah. I'm yeah. I'm I'm seriously considering dropping cable now. At yeah. least, at least, I'm considering dropping that the DVR in the box. I'll still watch oh, yeah. it on the app. Oh, dropping cable TV. Dropping the TV I cable. You yeah, I'll, your, I'll stay in it. Yeah. I'm gonna have hang my dropping cable. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna I'll drop some, some cable, cable real quick. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, look, I, I, I cut the cord. 
but you do miss sports, so you're gonna you're gonna want. It. Right, so I need I need the like the YouTube I, TV I, that's why I have to have the internet TV thing, yeah, or something. Whatever, dude. I yeah. hate everybody. But yeah, cause look, but do you like the uh, the chat support better than the phone support? Because I've seen you go crazy with those phone trees, Matt. I've I've been there. <laughs> I've I've heard you, operator. It's operator, <laughs> operator, <laughs> operator, yeah. operator. That's that's literally Matt <laughs> talking to a phone tree. It's amazing. Uh, I've heard it. Yeah, listen. I all I can say. Is I want to put it all behind me. I'm here talking to my friends. Let's just fucking move on. The the internet thing, it's just gonna drive me fucking bonkers. And I'm frankly, sorry, man. let's That's let's sucky. just chat. Let's just chat. Yeah. Let's just chat. So Chris, let's just chat. The chat. Come on. GPS with each other, you know. Since you chat are a minus genius, GPS. Yes. I, I have a technical question. Elite, for not you. genius. Elite. Elite. Yes. So I was trying to help uh the comedy chateau with um a sound issue they're having. Um, for those of you who know this stuff, there's a program yeah. called OBS. Dawson, if you weren't getting laughs, it's not a sound issue. No, yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's good. Um, a program called OBS, which works as a digital video audio platform. Sure, use it all can... the time. Yeah. Okay, so check this out. We're running sound from the comedy, from the room, into an OBS thing, but I don't know what's in the middle of the chain. You know, I don't know. Issue? what it's going through right all right there are four audience mics they are sent to the sub mix yeah there are there's an on stage mic it's sent to the mains and the sub mix so for those for those listening just so we'll, we'll dumb this down just a touch when Dawson means he doesn't know what's going on with the chain imagine you have a hose and a hose is going from your uh from your spigot through your house and out the front door but you can only see the end of the end that's coming out the front door. No water's coming out, and you're not allowed to go in the house. So you don't know what's going on inside exactly. of the house. It, there you go. Yeah, perfect. So I've been trying to fix this issue for them uh, uh, for a little bit, but it just keeps fucking happening. I you know. Anyway, um, I figured out a fix. I'm going to try it tomorrow. I'll let you know on the Patreon sh- Patreon show if oh, it works. We but here's the weird thing, dude. We are getting audience mics, audience mics coming in clearly to OBS, mm. but the mic on stage, yeah. which is being the center of the sub, and that's that's the sub mix. Yeah. Could that be an OBS problem, or is there something in a chain? You're getting that audience mic. You're getting take audience out mic. One of the microphones. You're getting. I, I find that very hard to believe. So you're getting audience mic, but you're not getting the direct mic. Correct. Okay. Well, sometimes OBS, the audience mic, might be when the camera. Sometimes the camera audio comes through, and they'll record from the camera. That's what it. Microphone. That's probably what it is. That's where the audience. How do you mic fix sound, that? You, you can mute it. So there's a sound bar with all the different volume sliders within the window. Gosh, see, this is text okay. right here. Okay. Um, did you try I know where turning, that is. Did you try turning it on and off. Yes, the you whole thing except right. not the was camera. It plugged in. Yeah, was it plugged in? Yeah, no. Is part of it in the <laughs> I, basement? I forgot yeah. you were You're fucking with me. <laughs> For, I forgot. I just I didn't realize you were fucking with me. I'm yeah. answering your questions. I'll show you. I'll show I'm you. excited. I'll show, show me. you. I'll show you here. We'll show me. Okay. Show you. Well, I could I'll, be. I'll I'll I could be a fucking do. hero. I could be a fucking <laughs> hero today. Okay, I would love that. Do you? Don't you want that, Toss? Don't you? Don't you? The thing with me is, I'm just telling them scientifically, this makes no sense. Yeah, are you wearing your? Are you wearing your uh, (laughs) hero pants? No, those are the ones where because you're going to be seated on people's shoulders, so you want to make sure you're supported along the back thigh and the uh, the glutes, the butt area, because you're going to be rubbing along people's shoulders as they're carrying you around, throwing confetti and hoisting you above their shoulders because you're a hero. Right. So everybody should have hero pants, and you should wear them accordingly. So. That um, I will I will make sure that you get hoisted tonight. Buddy. All right, all right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, we're gonna we're um, gonna fix that. Remind me after the show. And sorry about the uh, 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 detailed audio talk to any listeners. Oh no, they dig it. But that does make perfect sense because the guy said, you know, it might be going through the camera up there. It is. Yeah, HDMI. That's probably how it's connected. It uh, it it distributes both video and sound. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna fix this. HD TMI, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, do you have a shade today, Matt? Yeah, a quick one. Oh, he's a quickie shade. All right, we'll get to that yeah. in in just a moment. I just got back from Fresno. Fresno. Oh, how was it? It was exactly what was you it think. Awesome. Yeah, it was. So we had two shows. Well, we had a show in Turlock and a show in Fresno, and um, it was a uh, it was interesting. So we we're gonna fly out to San Jose, 
and then drive down to Turlock. So fly out of Burbank at 1 o'clock, drive down to Turlock, uh, figure out something to do for a couple hours, and then the show starts at 7.30, right? right? I, I would get there a few hours earlier to set up and blah, blah, blah. Um, and then I get a – so I'm I'm about to head to the studio because i got to pack some gear, all that stuff, and I'm going to get to the studio at 11 because <coughs> Adam was going to pick me up at noon. We would head to the airport. We're out at 1. Your um, flight's at 1. You're yeah. going to get to the airport at noon. Is that amazing? I love it. So um, – so I'm about so I'm heading to the studio and I get a call from Adam and he's like, well, "You you leave yet?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I'm heading to the studio right now." Turn around. Why? We're gonna drive to Turlock. We're not flying. I did the math. It takes five hours to drive to Turlock. Turlock's right by Bakersfield. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like we don't we don't we won't have to rent a car and drive down from San Jose. It's gonna be a lot easier if we just drive. So I turn around. We left a few hours later and we drove. It was Good. a nice drive. Um, Headed up to Turlock, did the show. It was like at a high school community theater. Like I guess that's the their only high theater. school auditorium. High school auditorium. Yeah. yeah. What is the What is the Turlock High? What are they? The Turlock High Bulldogs? What are I they? Didn't, I didn't even Turlock know. Turtles. The Tur- they I, I they Turtles. They probably are. They got to be yeah. the Turtles. I'm gonna go with serpents. You know every high, every team name just needs to be the same letter I'm that their right that now. their place starts with. The Turlock oh, yeah. Turtles. Perfect. Yeah. The Atlanta the Park Anteaters. Uh, Panties. What? The what? Oh, well, yeah. What high school did you go to? Oak Park. The the Oak Park Octopi. The Oak Park Ozarks. Oh, that would have been way better. Yeah. Or, yeah. Dawson, what was your high school? Uh, De La Salle. Spartans. Right. Oh, ugh, Spartans. That starts with an S. No, thank you. I know. The De La Salle. We got the Salle. Bags. De La Salle. De La Salle. De La Salle. There's yeah. an S in it. Oh, yeah. de, I'm saying De La Salle. De La Salle. Oh, no, but you want to do with the D. You want uh, the okay. D. You always want the D. Yeah. So the, what's an animal that starts with a D or a creature or something? He said it, the douchebags. Yeah. <laughs> Turlock High School. Yeah. <laughs> He's actually looking at it. On, it it's wow. going to be turtles. So. The um, mighty turtle. The, such a figure of athletic prowess. <laughs> I know, right? That, you, that'd be weird if, you're track, if you had a track team, too. Yeah, the track team, exactly. Um, he did beat the hair. It did, but it was it was more of an it, it was a fable, Matt. I don't yeah, think yeah. I don't think a tortoise ever really beat a hare in anything. Uh, YouTube would disagree. I've seen videos, man. Really, they've raced actual yes t- tortoises and hares. If I could share video, I would do it right now. Nope, but you I can't. know that's not going to work. So but hold your phone up to the screen like we always. Yeah. Do. <laughs> no, but it's there's videos of it. You can see it. It's a real thing. All right. Yeah, I believe you. I believe you. So anyway, we drive down to Turlock, do the show. Holy shit, dude! Turlock High School is the, the home of the bags. Bulldogs. Oh. oh, you called it. Yeah. You, but you went to school in like Santa Barbara, so you were you're no. in the general area of Turlock. You know. I went to school you in De La Salle. No, I grew up in the Bay Area, which is still two hours north of Bakersfield. Gotcha. Or um, the De La Salle Dalmatians. Turlock Boom. or whatever, Central mm. Valley. That's yeah. good, Chris. That's good. And then Santa Barbara is nowhere near there. I know. Yeah. Santa Barbara, home of the Charburger. Home of the home of the habit. Yeah, I know. The home mm-hmm. of the habit. Home of the Charburger. Yeah. Santa, Santa Bar- What's Santa Barbara style? Sourdough pizza, home of the habit. Sourdough pizza. I don't know. That was in the Bay Area. That was Bay Area. All right. So anyway, we drove down to Fresno, and then uh, we get to the hotel. Go. I go to bed. Wake up. And uh, and then Adam is like, "What time? Or do, what time's checkout here?" I'm like, "It's usually 11 a.m." So he, we had the hotel for that the whole day, but he because he wanted to save more money, he he had us check out that day, and we just figured out stuff to do. He wanted to watch a movie, maybe. We ended up going to a brewery and uh, getting some food at a diner and stuff, and just took in local the local color. But hey, Central Valley, brother, shout out to Fresno and Turlock, cause yeah. man, everyone's so cool there. Everyone was super Go Bulldogs. nice. Any Bobo boys out there? Of course. We're getting barked at. People people want to shake my hand and bark at me. Nothing bad. Has better. Adam ever heard any of the barks at this point? I'm sure he has, but I'm sure he purposely doesn't address them because it's yeah, confusing. Yeah. And, and childish. It, and it showcases that, yeah, it showcases that, uh, I don't know, that we people like us. And yeah. he, doesn't want, he doesn't want to acknowledge that. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I'm, I, I imagine that's the case. Anyway, so I had a great time, though, and then Easter... 
super haggard because after the Fresno show, I drove Adam back home, and we got home around three ish, and then uh, and then I woke up for Easter brunch. And what bar- time was that? Eleven ish. Well, I had to be there at nine. At oh, that's nine. not brunch, dude. That's well, still breakfast. Well, I helped set yeah, up. It was dude, a Jen, no Jen's There's mom no was hosting. And so and you I had to be a good husband, uh, good I job, and, and, good son-in-law, good and, job, uh, and helped out. And man, was I! I wanted, I wanted nothing to do but nap. Yeah, but you know, we had the masters on. We were, um, so we were just watching that and and enjoying life. So yeah, I watched go. some of that this weekend. Yeah, is I, who is the goatiest goat? Is it Tiger Woods? Yeah, it's Tiger Woods. Of all the goats, yeah, it's Tiger Woods. It's Tiger Woods. Michael Jordan. Oh yeah, so yeah. no! I thought you. I thought you were like, 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 no, specifically. No, no. Like, of all the goats, the like, goat of goats. You have Michael Jordan, like Tom Brady. Yeah, I don't know. I'd Tiger maybe, Woods. I'd say Wayne Gretzky what is, is Wayne the, goat, Gretzky. Is the goatest of goats. Yeah. What What is peak goat? Because hockey, ice hockey, is the most difficult sport in the world. Right, but who has like the biggest legacy? Is it MJ? Jordan. You think it's MJ over Tiger? Thousand percent. And then it's going to be Jordan. I don't know anything about sports, yeah. but Tiger I mean, Woods has long, like he's he's been around a lot longer than Jordan at the top. I mean, he's not at the top of his game now by any means, and gosh, he could barely walk right now. But um, he, no, but he did win that Masters like three, four yeah, years ago, twenty nineteen, yeah, yeah. So it's like it's crazy, and and even when he's not doing well, he still has the biggest crowd. He's the biggest. He's still the biggest star in golf. Yeah, and everyone just wants to know what's going on with him. Yeah. I don't know. I I my argument is for Tiger Woods after seeing how effective and how appreciated and how yeah. Like, I mean, what's Gretzky done lately? Right, nothing. And I'm not saying like, oh well, well Tiger's been doing this since the '90s. Yeah, and yeah, and he's just beloved in the golf community, not so much like the uh, spouse community. Yeah, it's still <laughs> Jordan though. <laughs> I was gonna say a few people you could pull uh, may not have the nice things to say about right, him. but. But my gosh, I, it's it's unlike because I you know I've gotten a golf very, very very recently and it's unlike anything I've ever seen. So he may be the goatiest goat to ever goat. I mean, I feel like you mentioned his name in passing, but doesn't Brady have to also be considered? The guy has all those rings. Yeah, that's important. Pound right? for pound, he, he, I mean, yes, yeah, success. I, and there's still more. I mean, he's retired, but I mean, who's who knows what he's going to do next? But as yeah, far but as like, he his, doesn't have a shoe line. Jordan's got a Jordan fucking shoe has, line. Jordan has yeah. everything. He created the shoe Jordan line is like for like athletes, or, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's like Coca Cola. He is, and yeah, everybody. Yeah. Knew. Okay, that's. Uh, I mean, nobody goes out to get a pair of Brady's. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I could wear any Brady's. Yeah. You're right, but uh, it, okay. So we're including merch sales and everything like that too, and accomplishments, but. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just really impressed by Tiger Woods right now mm. and just how crazy, how people I just, just realize follow him. You, when you golf, you got your irons and you got your woods. Has Tiger Woods started his own line of woods? Yeah. and Shouldn't and he have already done that? He, like he, Jordan's got he the Jordans. and Jeremy Irons Jordan, yeah. should have teamed up and created golf sets. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, with Adam I'm Driver. Adam Driver. Adam, he'll be the he should be, he should be there. He, oh, you have generations of people. So Adam Driver, oh. Jeremy Irons, and right. Tiger Woods should right. be just making golf sets. collab. Right. Yeah. Get together, guys. Absolutely. We just made you a gazillion dollars. They just got to get Joanna Holen one on board. Yeah. And, um, and they really got a dream team. Yeah. By the way, where does Arnold Palmer stand in all this? Because I mean, the man has a household they could get I and Eagle. drink. They could get yeah. Ian Eagle, the announcer, the football commentator. Yeah, he could be a part of it. Okay, and then Larry Birdie. <laughs> <laughs> Larry Birdie. Before we know he it, though, this is going to be a "We Are the World" music video. It's like there's just too much star power at a there's certain too, point. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. You, you it ends up diminishing after a certain yeah. point. You just got to keep it. Like my guitar, I've told you this. Like we've had an appraiser look at my guitar, and she's like, "Oh yeah, this thing's worth." We because I have all the autographs on it, and she's like, "Oh yeah, this this thing's probably worth twenty five hundred dollars with all these autographs." But she's like, "It may have been worth more had it just been like Joe Walsh, right?" Or something, yeah, you know? <laughs> exactly. but I have all those other people on there. <laughs> she's like, "Yeah, it actually gets to a point where it diminishes value the more signatures you have on there." I don't know mm-hmm. why. I don't know why, but it's fine. Um, <coughs> speaking of drinks that are named after people, 
you have Arnold Palmer, you have Roy Rogers, you have Shirley Temple. Mm-hmm. I mean, what what a feather in your cap to just have a a drink named after you. <laughs> me and me and Doug Laux drink a drink called the Mike Shannon. And it's what is just <laughs> it's just because his friend's dad his dad's friend, Mike Shannon would bring the ingredients of the Mike Shannon to the local bar and have the bartender make it for him. Ah, and wow. then it thus it became the Mike Shannon, and now the bar proudly serves Mike Shannons. But it's like, it's fucking, cool. it's basically whiskey and squirt and a couple other things. And a couple wow. other things? A couple other I things. I hope that's what they say. Like a little lemon Sounds juice. Imagine, you know, just Matt, kinda... imagine opening up one of your cocktail menus. You know the kind I'm talking about where it's, like, it's oh, almost yeah. like a book, two book sure. covers, but only one page oh, in the yeah. middle. Mm-hmm. And it has all of Matt's Empress drinks on there. Right. And you, then you see the Mike Shannon. <laughs> Whiskey, squirt, and a couple, couple other things. things. I just can't remember what's in it. Okay. But, but we can <laughs> add Mike Shannon to, to, the to list that of, list of he people who drink he, drinks named after that. He deserves to be part like, of... Every time Doug comes over, yeah. we're drinking Mike Shannons. So did you hear about that one time? Um, there's this, like, this grasshopper, and he walks into a bar, and the bartender goes, Hey, we have a drink named after you. And he goes, you have a drink named Murray? <laughs> um, yeah, I heard that joke. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so funny. the uh, like of all the drinks named after people, though, and Matt, you would have your you would rather have a drink or a sandwich named after you. Oh wow! Because mm, people forget the sandwich man. Nobody really knows who Ruben is. <laughs> Good point. That's true. You know? I think having a drink named after me would probably be cooler yeah. because yeah. the sandwich is it, it's it's populist everybody loves a sandwich everybody's got their own spin on what they make what they think makes a great sandwich but to have like a really cool signature drink that can only be made like one specific way like you said like the mike shannon or whatever <laughs> i think that's pretty baller so i'm gonna go with uh, a cocktail name yeah. after myself. so i implore our listeners you know us all. We want. We each want our signature drink. How about this? Mm-hmm. We take. We get. We get recipes for our own personal signature drinks, and then we make them and we try them. That's let's great. see what wins, and let's let's ha- let's each of us have our own signature drink based on. Mm. Look, we've been on the air for a long time. People know us. They Mike know our. Shannons. They know our tendencies. <laughs> Dawson does a. Dawson goes. Dawson's drink recipe: be <laughs> a Mike Shannon in a in a glass. Yeah, yeah, it'll just. Be, but who knows? It'll be so. Yeah, I, I want to hear what everyone thinks our signature drinks are going to be. I mean, and if Dawson's you put mine signature. in a low ball, or if you may put mine in a shot glass, I'm going to lose my <laughs> fucking mind. All right, well, just give me a real drink here. Come on, guys. <laughs> Dawson's signature cocktail is a B minus. No, I drink C minus. C minus. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. It's too political. Bud Light is the <laughs> is actually it's it's the worst tasting of the light beers. The yeah. Miller Light tastes the best. Of the, just the big three. Miller Lite yeah. tastes the best. Coors Light is unoffensive, and you can drink 30 of them. And then Bud Light actually has a heavier alcohol content. Oh, it does. Um, by like a tiny, tiny, tiny fucking bit. But, but I'm I'm with you. I um, that that's my order of choice. Miller Lite, Light, Coors Light. I don't even Bud like Light, a Bud Light. But if they have if they if they have Bud Light and like Old Milwaukee or Hams or Wiedemanns. I'll take any of those three before a Bud Light. I just hate the flavor yeah. of a Bud but Light. But here's the thing, too. You're right with the Miller Light and the Coors Light. Miller Light, I'm more excited if you if I see a, a bottle of Miller Light and a bottle of Coors, I'll reach for the Miller. But if I see a six-pack of Miller and a six-pack of Coors, I'll reach for the Coors. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's weird how that works out. Because you're going to drink six of them and you don't want to get too buzzed. Is that what it is? Might be. Oh, who knows? Maybe I do want to get a little buzzed. Yeah. Dawson, did you get buzzed the other night? You saw you saw a band play. You went out to a show. I did. You went to a rock show. I did rock show. It's a good show. Yeah, you were hanging out by, at the club by the week on the weekend, acting stupid, getting drunk with your best friends. Yeah, is that a song? Yeah. Okay. It's the rock show by Blink Eighty Two. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, went to the Rainbow and then um, uh. um, had a few drinks there, and then fucking went to the whiskey. My friends got a booth at the whiskey. A booth at a oh booth. okay. There's like three booths. I was thinking of like a trade show whiskey. for some reason. He has a booth there, mm. but yeah, booth at the mm. a whiskey. Okay. And um, and they said, "Come on out," and I said, "Well, shit, I'll come on out." 
man. We had a good time. It's a good show. But um, I lose days, man. You know, <laughs> get go out and do one it was one heavy Thursday night. I'll see you Saturday afternoon. Yeah, like get to hams. I still had to get up fucking early too. Still, you know, a little bit affected from the alcohol the night before uh-huh. and had to go take my truck in to get uh tinted to get it tinted what'd you do uh more tin talk here yeah. we go tint talk. Up, folks dun, 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 let's go limo tint on the back oh, nice. and uh a shade of illegal on the front. Ooh, shade of illegal. That could be the name of your memoir. A yeah, shade of illegal. I like that. Yeah, it's, it's uh, maybe it's three shades kind of, of illegal. I don't know. Three shades of illegal. If I'm just yeah. driving by, you can't see my face. Yeah, yeah. That sounds uh, very safe. Very cautious yeah. way to, <laughs> to go. It is. It, it, it has darkened the car face. quite a bit. Oh man. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess though in LA, but I love it. It just gets so fucking hot over the right. summer. Like that really does make a huge difference. Right. I don't think people necessarily realize that. Yeah. It's my favorite. And it's the more the car. more I look at cars in LA, if eighty percent of them have an illegal tint on their windows, eighty percent. Oh yeah, when you see everybody, like, like when you start noticing it. What the fuck am I it? worried about? Yeah, Everybody's when, got this. Yeah, when you start noticing it, you can kind of tell. All right, yeah. you guys, want to do some comments? Let's do it. Yeah. Now yeah. it's time for listener comments. People oh, listening to our show for the very first time. Yeah. Yeah. Super confused. I'm but sure. everybody who's listening for the 100th time or or plus. 69th they're, time. They're singing along. Singing yeah. along. It's, it's, uh, yeah, we're going, we're going full acapella right now. <sighs> acapella. All right, so Bill Richardson, he just wants to know, no or no? I guess Kalen's not here, but mm-hmm. we can all try. Metal Gear Solid. Dawson, does this mean anything to you? Metal Gear. Solid. No. Or Metal Gear Solid. It actually doesn't say solid. Just Clearly doesn't Gear. mean anything to you, Chris, because you didn't no. say the name right. Yeah. Well, it's Metal Metal Gear is what it says, but I only know Metal Gear Solid, but Metal Gear was an older game. Yeah, I'm mm. just going to say no. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, Snake was the guy. Snake. I'm surprised they haven't made that into a movie, Metal Gear Solid. That was yeah, a big I think RPG. They've been trying to do that for a while. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I heard the Mario movie wasn't very good, but it killed at the box office. Sounds about Which right. Which bums Too me bad out. Our film expert isn't here. Right, but Matt and I, we we grew up with the actual Mario movie, John Leguizamo, uh-huh. and like the slimy, mm-hmm. the slimy Goombas and the slimy Yoshi. I don't know what what Bob Hoskins. Yeah. Oh Dennis yeah. Hopper. See. A real Classic. What they did, Doss, is they're getting <laughs> still waiting for that sequel. By the way, the, they, oh, they, 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 they did it on, on a cliffhanger. A real cliffhanger. They like, yeah. The Mario Brothers, they weren't after pizza. That was those turtle guys, right? What yeah, the dude. Mario guys want? Did they want to save a princess, or did they eat something yes. too? They eat mushrooms, which you would think would make you like them more. Do they eat yeah. mushrooms in the movie? Um, I mean, I haven't seen the new one. Um, but in, in the old one, yeah, in the original, in the uh, the classic Leguizamo I, classic, I, I I believe there may be one reference to it. Okay. Are are the Mario Brothers? By the way, it's so unfair to call them the Mario Brothers because right, because it's Mario the only one's Luigi. named Mario. But that, that yeah, it's like having a band named Locks. La- right. Yeah. So but they, I mean, what if their last name was Jones? Yeah, they should be called the Jones Brothers. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. So. The um, but are they are the Mario Bros the first real like public shroomers that mm. really embraced no it, Alice kind of in pl- brought it was. into the uh, yeah there culture you go. Oh, Allison uh, a- yeah, Alice, Alice was the OG yeah. yeah she was the OG that makes sense then yeah, yeah. her and the caterpillar yeah and that and that cat with a with a smiling face yeah all right Jacob Morales writes as far as head scratchers go here's one regarding hot dog toppings is it acceptable acceptable to put hot sauce on your hot dog boys what do you think i voted on this and i said yes yeah i think it's fine and i'm gonna vote now and i vote yes yeah do it why not i don't have rules for hot dogs people say oh no there are rules for hot dogs what no ketchup that's not a rule that's a rule that's not a rule that's a rule i disagree with that rule i'm i don't even like ketchup but if you want to put it on your fucking hot dog yeah i can eat ketchup or i can eat with or without ketchup but 
I no, nope. I'm fine with it. No, I will not. That's bend just a on thing. People, no, that's just a thing people say to to act elite and act cool. No, who cares? I'm sorry, it's I'm going to put the whole treatise in jeopardy because I will not. I will not stand by while people put ketchup on hot dogs at oh my table. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah, and uh, Die Hard is a Christmas movie. They're just like things that people just feel like arguing about for no reason. It's like who gives a fuck? Just put ketchup on your hot dog. Yep. Or hot Shit. sauce in this case. Yeah. I don't know. Um, let's see. Oh, Caden Corbin. He wishes me a happy anniversary. Oh, happy Aww. anniversary, buddy. Sweet. Yeah, got yeah. It's our anniversary. It, I spent I spent our anniversary in Fresno. <laughs> oh wow! It was wonderful. Um, let's see here. Eric Jenks says, "Hey guy, hey Bobo's my wife, Katie Jenks, and I are drinking a couple beers at Whole Foods, and we're wondering, does your guys' Whole Foods have a bar like ours? Mine had a bar. Mine has a bar. I've seen a oh, yeah. bars. I've seen one. Doss, how about this? I've I don't seen- shop at Whole Foods, but the pavilions." By my house, kind of has one. By in, pavilions in Burbank, by us. A little drinking area. Yeah, but I think they only use it for demos and stuff. Mm. I think See, only we, occasionally you can. You can't. You can't just saddle up there and order uh, wine. No, it's it's for demos. So forget it. The the places that are around here, they do have several different markets have the bar, and what they also have now is the shopping carts have like a cup holder for your drink. What? Now, so yeah, it's you can really, it, yeah. I, it, it feels kind of weird to be rolling around the supermarket with a fucking beer clanking around in your, in your shopping cart. Like, yeah, I, I, I think it's idea. fine, but it also just looks like, my God, does that guy have a drinking problem? Like, he I, literally yeah. can't even go shopping without having a beer in his hand? I did have a beer inside a Whole Foods once in L.A. because I was just... Ch- this is like five years ago, six years ago. So, yeah, it's been out here for a while, Jenks. Um, but I was like, holy shit, I can get a beer here? And I went and got a beer, and then three beers later, I realized... I'm sitting at a fucking Whole Foods <laughs> exactly. drinking beer. I have yeah. shit to do. I came here to grocery shop. Right. There is something about drinking a beer in places where you don't usually drink a beer that feels so good. Like I would love to walk around a Whole Foods drinking a beer and just and just uh going just to shop. Live in life, man. Live in life. I think that'd be yeah. really cool. Or just like places should have okay, there are a couple of ideas. One is either you have specified places like we're the only church that lets you drink beer during the service. Right. Mm-hmm. People will go to that, and that'd be kind of cool. I'm like, oh wow, check it out. This feels wrong, but feels right at the same time. Or all churches should just have one day where they just let you drink beer and just see how that goes. And you yeah, make, we'll mo- call you it make money. Let's call it Sunday. Yeah, you like it's like a block party or something. You block <laughs> off the area, and everyone kind of just hangs out and drinks beer. When you're like, oh, I'm drinking beer outside. This is kind of weird. This is cool. Like, remember when we were in Louisville? We got to walk around and drink beers while um, going from bar to bar. That's right. Yeah, just I love all that stuff. I just I like drinking. We're put in places where you shouldn't be. It feels like you shouldn't be drinking. Like when COVID was happening, we we were, we were able to buy beers and walk around the airport. And they're like, oh, we you don't we don't have to keep it. You're like, oh no, we just open it up because we don't want to keep people spaced out. So we could walk around the terminal anywhere here, and we could just have this beer in hand. They're like, yeah, go the ahead. The novelty of that <laughs> was <laughs> pretty. Thin, it was especially amazing. When you I was just walking around like, this beer. is cool. Look yeah. at me. This is wild. Yeah. And like, a lot of the places were giving away like to go drinks because um, all these restaurants are trying to stay afloat, and you could just order a margarita and walk around with like a plastic cup margarita, drinking out of a straw around the neighborhood. It was cool. So yeah, I like that. I that is a cool feeling. There's a I was just told about this place yesterday when I had a friend over saying somewhere around here is like a drive through daiquiri place where they literally just like give you booze in the drive through and they put a That's little not piece smart. of tape <laughs> over the straw, but like drive away, you peel the tape off, you're done. Yeah. It's wild. That that it, that doesn't seem smart, Gary. That does might seem that that should that, be. That's illegal. a liability. Yeah, strange. that is a because, that's maybe, a lawsuit waiting to happen. Maybe though, there are no, there's not an open container law, and yeah, or or there's a because it's got a lid and a straw. Maybe you get around the open container, but that seems to me like it should be illegal. Yeah, here's a, I just had another thought about this: the supermarket beer. Mm, this model shouldn't actually work because when i go to a bar okay i'm gonna drop nine dollars to get a fucking beer 
when I go to the supermarket, why would I spend nine dollars on a beer when I can walk behind the bar and get a six pack of beer for nine dollars? Like it's a supermarket. They have they sell they have beers a selection at of, of a much beers better cost. Bulk pricing. But you don't have a cool guy opening the cap, you know, taking off the cap for you. And screwing yeah. it or popping the. I'm just saying, if I went to the the fridge section and grabbed a six pack of beer and then pulled a, pulled one of those cans off and just cracked it open, I could still have that same experience of walking through the supermarket drinking. You can a totally beer, do that exactly, and, and that's what? totally I'm, I'm legal. For this beer, it's totally legal. Yeah, Why? you can do that. You can fully Why can't do I that. Just do that. What yeah, do it. Work the system. For your beer for? I'm not complaining about that. I just want to walk around with the beer. I don't care where you get it from or how. Yeah, how you that's do good. It. Yeah, just do. I that. can go for that because then you're paying. You're you're buying the beer. It's one of my beers, man. It's, it's you're just gonna have one now, yeah. And that's a value. it's not the Whole Foods deal where you're paying s- seven bucks for another beer, and then exactly. w- and, yeah, and then it's in a flimsy glass. You know, it's gonna fucking spill. Yeah. No, you get the silver bullet. You get a thirty rack. Get a thirty yeah, rack of exactly. C minus, and <laughs> just, just start it. fucking digging in. Yeah, dude, just. Get your shopping done. Keep it standing upright. In have your a cart. couple beers. This Put is, the empties back in. This yeah. is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> now you guys, I'm so now, down with see, this. We come idea. up with a good idea, and then you guys just ruined it. This is a great. This is a <laughs> and now, life hack. And now, <laughs> yeah, this, this is, is a, a fucking hack. life hack. People, people yeah. of the world, I hope yeah. you're listening. If supermarkets were smart, they would hand out like weed candy or something. Get you get the munchies because now you're shopping while starving. There we go. And then and they make more money. It's really an investment. That's what they should be doing. <laughs> could, you, could you imagine? Everyone just stoned. Could you imagine like fucking 50, 60 year old people trying to fucking do their grocery shopping. <laughs> and they just get really high and they're really confused. Oh my God. That self checkout line would be its it own would, sitcom. Oh my right? God. Yeah. Yeah. I would love to see it as a social experiment. Yeah. I th- Look. But I want to be an observer on the other side of the glass. I do feel kind of bad that we're giving out all these ideas, all these million dollar ideas, mm. just for free on this very program. This Queso should be... Frisco, man. Queso Frisco. I know. Look, I I'm I'm already seeing reports that Jeremy Irons and Tiger Woods have hooked <laughs> up, and they're uh, they're going to be working on something secret project together. Who knows what it's going to be? We know what it's going to be, boys. All you right. know who else they got? Seth Green. Se- oh, they got oh. Seth Green. Sorry, Adam Driver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Adam, uh, Seth Green. <laughs> I don't know how he, he figured he was able to figure his way in that into that deal, but good for him. No, they can get the villain from Stephen King's The Stand too, if they want. Yeah, Randall Flag. Randall Flag. Mm. Yep. Um, all right, so let's see here. Nicholas Lay says, "Hey, we need to add marriage counselor to Gary Goes' resume." But uh, bringing your own clubs to Top Golf is JV. Anyone who <laughs> plays should be able to adjust after a couple swings. Yeah, but Gary's tall. Remember, we went over that. Oh yeah, Top Golf doesn't carry tall people's clubs. <laughs> I don't know if they do. Yeah, of course they do. Yeah, and Ryan Ryan Scripps says I'm okay with bringing a personal bowling ball to bowling. You're playing a le- legit game on a regulation lane. Top Golf. It's not real golf. Just play the stupid equipment they give you. Right. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't disagree with bringing your ball, your own ball, to bowling. I just disagree with bowling. You just don't like the act alone. Uh. Uh-uh, I just don't like it. Oh. So will will we never bowl, Doss? We did bowl once, and we didn't like it. No, you loved it. Well, Matt, you loved hated it. it. You I hated su- it. Well, that's the thing, dude. First of all, I suck at it. Um, and I can never find a ball that I like. Awesome. So maybe I should get my own bowling ball, and maybe then I would love the game. I think you need to start thinking of bowling as very heavy bocce. Yeah, but it's Because you love bocce ball. You love the act of rolling a ball down a lane so that the ball will make contact with something else. Mm. It's essentially the same thing. The ball's heavier. Yeah, it's just not, though. <laughs> I tried. I like. I, I like. I. I really appreciate the effort. I see what you did there. I'm not buying it. Yeah, it's like mm. it's like you know how you go to those places and they have a chess board, but the chess pieces are like the size of me, and then you can just play chess that way. Remind me on Patreon show my shit I did as a kid will be about bowling. Okay, it's good. All right, it's good. Let it write down because I'm not gonna fucking remember that. Neither am I. All right, Jake Zerby. Zerby. He wrote a comment that got a lot of. Uh, yeah, it, he says it's prof- prophetic. Mm. Prophetic. Prophetic. So he's talking about the artwork 
So those listening, if you look at your phone right now or wherever you, look, you see the water cooler art, and he uh, he says that there, there might be a little conspiracy theory, but like a little Da Vinci Code esque stuff happening here. So look, Matt, if you look at the picture, Matt, he left for Texas, mm-hmm. and in this picture, he's an outline. He's outlined. Okay. With he's an outline. The picture with an X next to him. Uh huh. Mm. Kalen leaves to tend fish ponds. He's kneeling over a pond of spilled beer. Huh, okay. Tossing beans, or is it fish food? Right. Do we even know? Do Ga- we even know? <laughs> <laughs> Gary leaves and is seated behind a MacBook, zooming in from the OC. So, yeah, mm. zoom Gary right there. Dawson is smoking because he smokes. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> wow, that's good. how did they see through Brilliant. that? Brilliant. And then uh, Chris is depicted as a water cooler, a permanent fixture around the office. Mind blown. Yeah, I get. Glad. Look, it's all. It was all in writing since the very beginning. Yeah, that's some Nostradosis. Nostradosis. Nostra dosis. All right. Anyway, those are the comments for today. Thanks everybody for writing in. We appreciate it. <laughs> no outro. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Uh, so Matt, real quick, do you want to do a quick Shay? Shay. Sure. Shay right. away. Take it away. Shay. What better, kind of food will be here, here today? today? What, what might be the price? price? What, what might be the venue? venue? So let's find out. It's, it's time, time for Gary to say, Hey, hey Matt. What's on the menu? Oh, thanks, Digital Gary. Um, well, Easter Sunday was this past weekend, and uh, I did not prepare at all. We did not have any sort of meal set up. We just figured we would wing it. And then I came to learn that in Texas, Easter's kind of a big deal. It's very Christian. Do that. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Pretty much everything was closed, including just about every supermarket. So Those damn uh, national holidays. I had no choice but to uh, return to Wendy's. It, we, uh, recently talked <laughs> I about. think you had a choice, dude. You you had a freaking choice. Man, I wish, I wish there was a Wendy's closer to me. I'm getting I'm jealous of your Wendy's yeah. situation. Well, you guys will recall that last time we were there, I had some just massive chicken Diary, club yeah. that was, it was, it was good. insane. Yeah. yeah, it was it was just too much. So mm-hmm. I wanted just to go for something a little bit more classic, and it's I also rare, realized rare. that I don't even know if I had even had a Wendy's burger before. Yeah. I think I just always did the fried chicken sandwiches there. That was sort of my go-to there. Please. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to try a burger. I'm going to have a Wendy's burger, one of those square burgers. I want to yeah. see what the hubbub's all about. Yeah, what's going on? You got to get like a GBCB, bite? bro. What's it like to bite into a corner of a burger? Yeah. <laughs> I want to know. Well, let me just tell you that the – because, again, it's fast food, so there's all different shapes and sizes of their burger menu. But I got the uh, the bourbon bacon cheeseburger which is essentially their version of the western bacon cheeseburger from carl's jr so it's the meat the cheese the bacon they got onion strings and then some barbecue oh, sauce no yeah. you gotta do the onion ring well yeah. they just don't have rings at wendy's you rings know, or strings man you know their onion rings are square yeah they yeah. are <laughs> they are how they do that um and i gotta say it was fucking really good the uh the bacon tasted like and real bacon, it wasn't like all fatty. That's, that's something you want to hear. When, oh, it was really good. The bacon tasted like real bacon. Well, I mean, it was obviously well, real Wendy's bacon. Well, Wendy's does have good bacon. Um, yeah, it was yeah. fucking good bacon. You should get the, the JCBC. The The burger itself was juicy. I mean, it was like a... I was genuinely surprised. It did not really seem... It seemed almost like an elevated fast food burger. It was a pretty, like, thick patty. It was... Oh. That's nice. You know, and again, the, the barbecue sauce had lots of good flavor in it. The onion strings were not, uh, sometimes they put too much on there. It can kind of just destroy the burger. You just feel like you're just eating onions and fried bit. But it was very well proportioned. And uh, despite the kind of mildly sickening experience I had the past time, I was much happier this time around. Yeah, it sounds like it. So I'm that glad was, I'm That glad was your Easter better. dinner, huh? So that was yeah that was the first half of our Easter dinner and uh, then we had friends come over who kind of did the same thing They're like yeah we're going to bring some food over we're like great thank god cuz we have nothing here and then as they pulled up they're like yeah we didn't realize that everything's closed around here so we went to Taco Cabana which is basically like Taco Bell and so that was the other part of our Easter dinner nice. we're just like the mo- like or like Del Taco just straight up crispy beef taco Cheese quesadilla, great a, a meal that that Jesus himself would have adored, <laughs> yep. I'm yeah. sure. Yep. Um, and then as the night was really gearing up, we even had some leftover Dominoes from the previous night. Damn, oh, geez, what dude. a feast! Yeah. That shit in the crow wave, bro. 
Yeah, it's exactly. Like a college dorm room in there now. Yep, it yeah. really was. Burn so the uh, sin off it. Um, Suck it it's, down. Uh, all things considered, ended up being a pretty successful Easter meal. Not one mm. you would expect, mm. but that's what's on the menu. Nice. Mm. And then uh, Doss, the JB, the Junior JB Bacon CB, Cheeseburger. Junior Bacon Cheeseburger. Yeah. I can, I can crush five of those in a frosting. Why don't you just call it a Bacon Cheeseburger Minus? BCB Minus. Because uh. you can't say that to them. Ah, they wouldn't get But you, wouldn't you, get you through but the drive through speaker? Totally, you can go to the drive through speaker and ask them for a C Minus. Is that? know exactly what oh, you're talking course. about. Who wouldn't? The, <laughs> the, is that the place that does the Baconator? Yeah, dude. Isn't it's that what, what they're known I, for? I, I like the Baconator. That's what they're known for, right? Yeah. A Baconator? It's like a small bacon cheeseburger. But the junior bacon cheeseburger, dude, it's 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 like this big. It's not you need like five of them, but it only has. Why don't you start two and a half fucking bacon. square patty <laughs> cheese, bacon, and lettuce and mayo? All that's all you need. Boom. Yeah. Crush those. They're so good. I kind of want to try one of those. Oh, yeah. I miss it. The only Wendy's around here for us though is in Empire Center. That's and not too far from the shop. It doesn't matter. It's a pain in the fucking ass to get in and out of that parking lot. Yeah. I will never true. do it. Yeah, it's near the Costco. It's a, uh, yeah. There's a Walmart right the, there. Walmart and a Target in yeah. that center. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's too much. It's too, too much. No. All right. Well, thanks, Matt. Love that. Love that update. Do you think anybody eats rabbit on Easter? Is that, is that too weird? Is I've that, never had rabbit in my mm, life. You've never? Oh, rabbit's so good. Oh, God. See, like, I, I mean, I've usually had it like it as in the mouth. like a pasta, you know, with like rabbit. Rabbit rigatoni. Yeah, that shit is incredible. Yeah, and we don't find a lot of rabbit out here like to eat. Like not a lot of people eating rabbit out here, at least in California. I don't, I'm sure in other states, they, they, yeah. rabbit is, a, is all over. In Italy, isn't, they had a lot of rabbit. Isn't the pita symbol a rabbit? Yeah, oh, I don't want. I don't know. I just thought it was weird. Like, do you think anybody eats rabbit on Easter? Is that or is that too weird? I think that would be weird for people. Yeah, they eat pigs and stuff. All right, kids, the Easter bunnies here. <laughs> they eat she pigs and lambs. Eats. Well, you know, it's funny. Like <laughs> Jesus was the Lamb of God who taketh away the sins of the world. And what do people eat on Easter? A leg of lamb. Well, you guys also eat the body and drink the blood every week. So That's true. eating parts of Jesus is kind of your thing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He's obviously delicious. Just eating Jesus. Dude, I love I love growing up, I loved the taste of the Eucharist. Yeah. I looked Did forward you? to that all the oh, time. Oh, dude, Sister Rita Francis. Maybe it's because it's such a bake her own Eucharist and then the the priest would bless it. Yeah. And anytime we got Sister Rita Francis's Eucharist. It was actually leavened bread a little bit. It wasn't. Oh, the, it wasn't man. the fucking thin wafer squares. Dang. It was fucking. It was a chunk of bread. Drop that in your soup. So good. Come on. This is how I know that you guys have been brainwashed because you're like, oh man, the Eucharist. Oh, that when I go to church, I get this little cracker. It was so good. Oh yeah. You know what we got at Temple? We got fucking holla. We got delicious slices of egg bread that you can smell from blocks away. Yeah, it's got pull. It's got chew. It's got texture. That is what you want after sitting on your ass and praying to God for several hours. Yeah. You guys are like, oh, great cracker. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Please. Dude, but I loved it. Maybe it was because of the small portion. Like It always just left me oh, wanting more. Up. Huh? Oh, you left your morning more? Yeah, I'm like, dude, that's well, all I get today. All right, and I just look for. All right, Matt. So uh, I, I look forward to. I would just look forward to next Sunday. Every, oh man, I can't wait for next Sunday. Mm. I'm gonna have a little get that wafer again. A little piece of wafer again. Wow. I, I used You're to talk about the, the one that melts basically on your tongue. It's like rice paper. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I thought it was tasty. All right. Well, anyway, you that- know those are manufactured at a fucking food manufacturing company they're fucking ziploc baggied up and fucking shipped out to I should, churches I, know. I wish i had those in bulk and then some priest bless them and then they're yeah do they not sell but unblessed nabisco has to make those somewhere yeah they don't sell unblessed you know? unblessed uh eucharist no they do sell <laughs> unblessed eucharist <laughs> Because yeah, if they the sell it, get, it, it, it to the consumer in house to the consumer, guys, or is it it's all blessed in house during during the mass? Uh, you guys have heard they have like those food shipment services. There's that one called Uglies. So you know you kind of you can get oh yeah like the, the, the weird the carrots, carrots and the apples. And they're yeah. still good. They just don't really look very good. So I think I'm going to start a new line. It's called Unblessed, and we're going to take all the food that hasn't been blessed yet. And yeah, we're going to distribute because it has to go so somewhere. You'll discount on those crackers. They haven't been blessed yet. The holla. Well, it's basically nothing kosher. Nothing the Catholics kosher. Bless them stuff. Bless their stuff in house. Yeah, we during do it during mass. yeah right yeah. in front of you. It no becomes, tricks here. It becomes the body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yeah, 
when the priest does this. And then I ring the little bell. Right. As it, as he raises it up. Yeah. Yeah. So you're you're right. You're right. So Matt, I like this idea. I you guys I, ever bring like a little packet of parmesan with you and yeah. then just like sprinkle a little Sometime bit on mustard, top for you. Mustard. Where you put that in your mouth? A little taco bell hot sauce too. Yeah, there you go. A little taco bell <laughs> hot sauce. Yeah, Dawson has a weird thing about putting ketchup on it though. No ketchup on your Eucharist. <laughs> yeah, no, I right. think I think we could actually make the communion a lot better if you put, after you, you got it? after you got your Eucharist. There was a dip person. <laughs> yeah, there, there was a be person a dip. holding dip. I and like maybe a spinach <laughs> dip. And then you do that. <laughs> that I'm gonna I'm gonna write to the Pope because that is an improvement. Oh my god. That's an improvement on the Catholic Church. Yeah. It's too plain. Yeah. It, it really should be a vessel. It's like there you should need be, there should be chip. a salsa bearer. Yeah, there Yeah, or like put some everything bagel seasoning on it. Like, what are we yeah. doing here? Yeah. <laughs> So another million idea. And, million dollar idea. And, and, you know, we drink wine. I mean, why can't it be a tequila shot? Right. That, that's WWJD. That's all I'm going to say. You know what? Crazy. We just, <laughs> how about instead of buying from Nabisco the Eucharist thing, why don't we just get party bags of Tostitos. Yeah. yeah, why are we even using Eucharist when we can use Oreos? Bless that. <laughs> yeah. Bless the salsa. So, you know. Mm-hmm. And then take a tequila shot. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. And then uh, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, see, they yeah. need to hire us to improve. Because yeah. I, think, I think attendance at Mass is down. Oh, yeah, it is. And it might be because of the unseasoned the unseasoned food. Yeah. <laughs> and it could be, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, that'll do it for this episode of Watercooler. Why don't we go around now and get our plugs in? I'll start all the way in Austin TX. Matt Fondelier, what should we all be checking out? Well, please check out our Patreon if you haven't already. Patreon.com slash watercooler. Payments, what, five bucks a month? You get twice as much show. And you get the full archive. So it's not like you if you pay now, you only get new episodes. You can go back and listen to all of our old episodes, and we are well into that Patreon show too. So lots of content and, there. And it's really just the best way to support the five of us. Yeah. Um, and then I mentioned it before, but the uh, true crime show that I work for, Sword and Scale Nightmares, has launched, and one of the episodes that I wrote is out right now. That it's one's about text. The support. whole Oh, the whole not about tech support. Um, it's actually a story that uh, a friend of the pod, Patrick, first told me about, and it was one of the most fucked up stories I had ever heard in my life. And I said, I'm gonna see if I could write a sword and scale on that, and I did, and yeah. I think it came out really good. So it's definitely a messed up story, but if you got 30 minutes, it'll creep you out. Sword and scale nightmares. All right, if you want to get creeped out, the whole yeah. sword and scale whole. nightmares. Sweet, Doss, up at you. I don't know, man. Just be nice to people. Yeah, I agree. And also check out the hole. Uh, All right. Uh, yeah, check out the hole. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we'll do Patreon later this week. But thanks again to everybody for listening to the show, for uh, telling a friend about it, for for putting it on in your car while a friend was shitting, sitting shotgun and forcing them to listen to this. And maybe now they like it too. Or maybe they hate you more. Because they knows? love it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but either way, we appreciate it. And we'll see you later this week for Patreon. And Late goodbye. On. We love you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>